see challenges are everywhere so the women who are coming into sports um, challenges will be there but then now they have more support compared to yester years so they should be happy and always if in your family anybody is into sports you also show interest join them start with a maybe fitness program and then if you are good then go for competitive sports but fitness is very very important for each and every woman so my message to women are just love your body be selfish for your own body and go for fitness program sports program whatever you can do just give 45 minutes to 1 hour to your body to be fit healthy and happy so what should we do to increase the number of women participants uh, in sports or for that matter i am a marathon champion so i will i must say uh, to bring them into running you won't believe in 1984 when i started marathon uh, the long distance runner was no no thing for women it was uh, supposed to be very tough for women and uh, uh, parents never used to encourage so there were only two three top runners and only those who are top runners running 4 minute pace marathon you know like 4 minute pace or 330 minute pace so all uh, those who are national level uh, champions they were going for marathons not it was not a hobby kind of a thing or like today it is you know uh, everyone's dream is to finish marathon secondly there are many female runners those who are uh, taking up uh, marathon running ultra marathon running so now the scenario is changing uh, slowly otherwise when i went for uh, london marathon i saw 1000 female with me so it was a scene for me my god 1000 ladies in marathon in india now we are getting that kind of number uh, not 1000 but 500 in full marathon and uh, in half marathon of course uh, 1000 plus females sometimes we get so things are changing you know and it's, it's a good change every change is for the betterment so if uh, we say what what country should do i did one thing uh, in 1985 and i must tell you that story that that time in 1985 the prize money for female was was less and for male was uh, more 10 times more than what uh, females were getting so in uh, 1985 elabad marathon indira marathon uh, i just stood up with the issue and i raised this that question uh, to the prime minister then which um, that time uh, prime minister was rajiv gandhi so i just raised the question when i was getting my prize from him on the stage i said there is a discrimination uh, among male and female you know prize money so uh, i want to give from my side i want to give to one lady who was 65 years old and i just mentioned it to rajiv gandhi that there is a disparity and you won't believe then and there rajiv gandhi announced that uh, when you are um, going to give name marathon name indira marathon and you are not uh, supporting female that's not good so uh, then same time the sponsor of the marathon which were japuriyas uh, 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 and the sports department they decided and they announced that the prize money will be same for male and female and till then since then the prize money is same so i cherish that moment that i raised the voice to have the same equal prize for male and female so winning all across uh, the world in 26 countries going on our own i am a self made marathon champion and uh, going on my own and winning marathons you know and coming back not like uh, nowadays you know uh, Uh, people are welcoming you and things like that that time uh, the marathon was not that uh, famous in india so uh, going abroad uh, winning kuala lumpur marathon winning singapore marathon winning Man- malaysian international marathon winning asian marathon and then coming back home uh, you are not known as uh, asian marathon queen but in malaysia you are known as uh, marathon queen 
so uh, there was you know like that time i used to feel uh, people because they don't know tv was not covering uh, marathon champions uh, of course i got uh, very good coverage uh, koi jeeta koi hara uh, in 1992 when i won the gold but it was not that much which uh, i feel the marathon runner should get because you know uh, you you go for training for 6 years your sweat your uh, blood you know everything you sacrifice so much um your social life is gone for a six you know as long as you are um doing your uh, uh, marathon career or say you are winning medals for country so i rep- whenever i used to represent india i used to feel good but otherwise also i always used to uh, say that whenever i am abroad running as sunita godara i am even if i am not representing india but winning the international medal at the uh, you know uh, any any foreign country for that matter it is always you know uh, the india name is with me so sunita godara from india won the marathon so you know that used to give me very good feeling if you ask me my asian marathon gold and uh, what other uh, winnings i cherish always you know that's uh, paris marathon top 10 position so i was 10th in paris marathon in 1993 then australia i was number 5 uh, and that was uh, barcelona olympics trials so uh, i cherish always that i was uh, in among top 5 in melbourne marathon then holland marathon i was uh, third asian marathon when i won the asian gold in 1992 that that was my best uh, achievement because uh, that is the one uh, with that i can prove myself that i was best in asia in 1992 and uh, then uh, the wellness coach you know um, i always cherish when people say that you give positivity you give uh, positive vibrations and uh, you make us feel confident and when we meet you uh, you are like a stress buster so all these things you know uh, it's uh, good to hear from my trainees that i give them happiness